NBA expansion has been a topic of discussion over the past decade, and the conversation always comes up for what locations would be the best places to add new NBA teams. Adam Silver recently spoke briefly over the summer about how NBA expansion is likely to come sooner than later, and it could be upon us quicker than we think. So in this video, I'll be discussing the top 5 best locations for NBA expansion to add an NBA team, starting at number 5. The fifth best location for NBA expansion is Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri is a city on the rise and it presents a compelling case for NBA expansion. The city's population is steadily growing and its business landscape is evolving with the development and expansion of various industries. The sports scene in Kansas City is thriving, exemplified by recent investments in sport facilities such as the new training facility and stadium for the Kansas City current women's soccer team, which cost approximately $85 million. Additionally, the success of sports startups like the Kansas City Mavericks, an ECHL hockey team affiliated with the NHL's Calgary Flames, demonstrates the city's capacity to support and nurture sports ventures. Kansas City sports culture is undeniable, from the passionate Kansas City Chief fans who create a vibrant atmosphere at Arrowhead Stadium. The strong TV ratings during key sports events such as the AFC Divisional Round matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills showcase the city's dedication to its teams. One significant factor that may contribute to Kansas City's suitability for NBA expansion is the presence of Patrick Mahomes, the superstar quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs. Mahomes' deep ties to the city, both personally and professionally, make him a potential driving force in attracting an NBA team. He's invested in other local sports teams such as the Kansas City Royals and a women's soccer team, and became a member of the Sporting Club Ownership Group of Sporting Kansas City. His influence and financial prowess could play a pivotal role in assembling an ownership group to support an NBA team's arrival to Kansas City. Kansas City also passes the ABCD test laid out by former NBA president Andy Dolich. The city boasts an avid sports market, a dedicated fan base, and a strong community of elected officials and leading businesses willing to support a new NBA team. As for the D, or destination, the city's T-Mobile Center is a state-of-the-art venue that has hosted numerous events. While there are challenges to overcome, including the need for a billionaire owner, the city's compelling case for an NBA expansion cannot be ignored. As the NBA continues to explore expansion options, Kansas City's name should remain in the conversation as a potential destination for a new NBA team. At number 4, the fourth best location for NBA expansion is Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky has long been a hotspot for basketball enthusiasts, nestled in the heart of the bluegrass basketball country. Over the years, it has been in contention for an NBA franchise on several occasions. In the past, it was considered as a potential destination when the Grizzlies relocated from Vancouver to Memphis and during discussions for the 30th NBA franchise, which eventually landed in Charlotte. One of Louisville's most compelling features as an NBA expansion city is the KFC Yum Center, a state-of-the-art venue with a seating capacity of 22,090 people. This arena serves as the home of the Louisville Cardinals, showcasing its compatibility to host NBA games and events. The KFC Yum Center's modern amenities and fan-friendly environment make it a prime candidate for NBA action. When looking at cities or even states without NBA teams and huge basketball fan bases, you don't need to look much farther than the state of Kentucky. One of the best and most storied and NBA alumni college basketball programs in the country is located in this state, in the University of Kentucky, which sent nearly 140 players to the NBA since the school start, and also having one of the biggest fan bases in all of college basketball. On top of this, the University of Louisville also has a huge fan base for its school, and these two schools arguably have one of the biggest rivalries in all of college basketball, and adding an NBA team to the city not only would grow the NBA brand, but bring a lot of traction in neighboring states without NBA teams like Kentucky, Arkansas, Missouri, West Virginia, and Virginia. Kentucky basketball legend Dan Issel has been a vocal advocate for bringing an NBA franchise to Louisville for years. His passion for this cause remains undiminished, and he believes that the city is well positioned to support a professional basketball team. In the midst of this competition, Louisville stands as a dark horse candidate for an NBA team. Danisal's dedication to the cause and the potential for economic growth and excitement in the city are compelling reasons to consider Louisville as a prime location for NBA expansion. While it would take a substantial financial investment, there's a growing sense of optimism that Kentucky's largest city can overcome any obstacle and become a proud NBA host, contributing to the league's growth and success. With a rich basketball tradition and a vibrant sports culture, Louisville has a strong case for joining the ranks of the NBA cities and providing fans with a new source of excitement and pride. At number three, the third best location for NBA expansion is Mexico City. The NBA has found enormous success in growing their audience and brand since expanding to Canadian boundaries such as Toronto and Vancouver. Expanding the NBA to Mexico City is a remarkable opportunity to bring the game to even more fans while adding a fresh dimension to the league 
achieved global footprint and touch a whole other country in Mexico. Mexico City has proven itself as a fervent and spirited host for NBA games, notably showcasing during the thrilling matchup between the Miami Heat and San Antonio Spurs in the Mexico City games. The arena, Ciudad de Mexico, where the game took place, boasts a modern setup and can accommodate more fans than many NBA arenas, creating an exciting atmosphere that rivals playoff games. Mexico's love for basketball is evident. In its rankings, as the fifth largest market for NBA League Pass subscriptions and the fourth largest for NBA merchandise sales online, the sport has deep roots in the country especially in smaller towns in southern region cities like Chiapas, Oaxaca, and Guerrero. The NBA has capitalized on this by promoting its brand in Mexico, as internet and cable TV penetration have increased in major cities. While the NBA's initial attempt to host a regular season game in Mexico City in 2013 faced challenges due to an arena fire, subsequent efforts have been far more successful. The league continued to schedule games in Mexico, with notable matchups like the Boston Celtics facing off the Sacramento Kings in 2015. In 2019, NBA superstar Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks played a captivating game against the Detroit Pistons. Mexico City's integration in the NBA landscape has taken a significant step in 2022, with the introduction of an NBA G League team based in Mexico City called the Mexico City Capitanes. Out of all NBA G League teams, the Mexico City Capitanes have ranked 5th in ticket sales in just their first season right behind neighbor teams in the Rio Grande Valley Vipers, G League affiliate to the Houston Rockets, and the Texas Legends, G League affiliate to the Dallas Mavericks. This move indicates the NBA's growing commitment to Mexico City, as teams from the G League now travel to and from the city for games. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver has expressed the league's interest in potentially hosting an NBA team in Mexico City, following the successful model of expanding north to the borders of Canada. However, the timing of Mexico City's potential entry into the NBA remains unclear. Adam Silver hasn't explicitly gave a date for NBA expansion, but Mexico City has emerged as a serious contender. The city's international reputation has evolved positively over the last decade, dispelling outdated notions of danger and inhospitality. Instead, Mexico City is recognized as one of the world's appealing destinations. One critical factor that has endeared Mexico City to NBA players and teams is the passionate and welcoming fan base. The enthusiastic Mexican fans create an electrifying atmosphere, making visiting teams feel right at home. Players have expressed their delight in playing in Mexico City and have praised the warm reception they receive. The city's potential as a lucrative market for the NBA can't be understated. With a population of over 33 million people, Mexico City is one of the most populous urban areas globally, providing a fast fan base and potentially more revenue streams. Furthermore, the city's strong connection to Latin America opens up opportunities for the NBA to expand its reach in the region. While Mexico City offers immense potential, it does present some unique challenges. The high altitude of the city, exceeding even that of Denver, can impact player performance and conditioning. However, this issue has not proven to be impossible, as players have adapted effectively. Looking in hindsight, NBA expansion to Mexico City holds significant promise for the league's growth. It would tap into a passionate fan base, diversify the NBA's global presence, and provide access to a sizable and enthusiastic market. While challenges like altitude and security considerations exist, the benefits of expanding to Mexico City are compelling, making it a strong contender for future NBA expansion plans. The league's continued interest in Mexico City reflects its commitment to expanding the game's reach and building a more inclusive basketball community worldwide. At number two, the second best location for NBA expansion is Las Vegas, Nevada. Expanding the NBA to Las Vegas, Nevada is a fantastic idea for several straightforward reasons. First, Las Vegas and the NBA already have a strong connection. The city hosts the annual NBA Summer League to showcase the young rookies and young players every single year. It's a place where fans, players, and teams come together to enjoy the game. Second, Las Vegas has shown that it knows how to embrace major sports teams. They welcomed the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights with open arms, and the team quickly became a part of the city's identity. The NFL's Las Vegas Raiders also made the city their home, and the WNBA's Las Vegas Aces have been successful as well. This shows that Las Vegas is a city that loves and supports sports. Sharing the T-Mobile Arena with the Vegas Golden Knights is a practical and cost-effective option for a new NBA team. The arena is already there, and it's a great place to play basketball games. Adam Silver has also talked about adding new teams, and Las Vegas is the top choice. However, they won't rush into it. Right now, they're busy working on TV deals that end in 2024 to 2025. But as the NBA keeps growing, adding new teams is a natural step. It's looking like Las Vegas probably has the best chance out of any city to get an NBA team. And the city has experience hosting big sports events like the NFL Draft and the NCAA Basketball Tournament. One exciting development is the Oakview Group's plan to invest a lot of money in Las Vegas. They want to create a massive arena with hotels, entertainment, and more, all without needing public money. 
This could be very appealing to the NBA. Las Vegas is already known as the best place in the world for live entertainment, and adding an NBA team would make it even better. The success of the Vegas Golden Knights proves that the city can support and love its sports teams. And let's not forget about how LeBron James wants to be a part of the NBA's team's ownership group in Las Vegas. His involvement could be a big help in making this happen. Overall, bringing an NBA team to Las Vegas is a smart move. The city's strong ties to the NBA, success with other sports teams, existing infrastructure, and significant private investment all point to Las Vegas as an ideal location for adding a new NBA franchise. As the NBA continues to grow, Las Vegas could be the new enticing destination for basketball fans and the favorite to land a new NBA team. But there is one contender. Finally, at that number one location for NBA expansion, it's none other than Seattle, Washington. Seattle's basketball history runs deep, and it's a city that takes pride in its beloved team, the Seattle Supersonics. The desire to see the Supersonics return to the NBA has been an ongoing conversation for years. The team's legacy still resonates with fans, and the Bring Back Our Sonics movement has remained active. The return of the Supersonics would not only rekindle nostalgia, but also create fresh excitement among both diehard fans and a new generation of basketball enthusiasts. Adam Silver has been vocal about his support for expanding the league, and he's indicated that the expansion discussions are likely to gain momentum in 2024 after the new media rights deal is sorted out. While Silver hasn't explicitly mentioned Seattle as a chosen location, it's widely believed that Seattle is one of the top of the list for potential expansion. The city's population of 4.1 million people in its metro area and the absence of an NBA team make it an attractive destination. The fact that Seattle's Climate Pledge Arena is already home to the Seattle Kraken, the NHL's expansion team, showcases its compatibility to accommodate multiple professional sports franchises. The arena has undergone significant renovations and is equipped with NBA standard facilities, making it a practical choice for an NBA team's home games. This shared space arrangement would likely reduce the financial burden associated with building a new arena from scratch. Seattle's basketball credentials extend beyond the Supersonics. The Seattle Storm, the city's WNBA team, has consistently drawn substantial crowds, boasting the highest WNBA average attendance in 2022. Their success indicates a robust and passionate basketball community in the city, ready to embrace the return of an NBA team. In the grand scheme of NBA expansion, Seattle's rich basketball history, the enduring affection for the Supersonics, and the existing infrastructure in Climate Pledge Arena make it a significant contender in expansion race. Overall, Seattle's NBA expansion prospects look promising. The city's deep basketball roots, strong fan base, existing arena infrastructure, and the support of Adam Silver indicate the Supersonics' return could be on the horizon. For people in Seattle and Washington, and NBA enthusiasts alike, the idea of welcoming an NBA team back to Seattle is a tantalizing one. The reunion of the Supersonics with their devoted fans would undoubtedly be a heartwarming moment in the world of professional basketball. I know this is a very controversial topic, so comment below where you think the NBA should expand.